Welcome to this video. I am Dr. Saravanan. I am an interventional cardiologist and electrophysiologist. The purpose of this video is to try and give a brief introduction about what a pacemaker is, how important it is, who needs it, what might be the costs and the risks involved, and what options are available for you. The reason why I thought this video is very important is because I practiced in the UK for a long time and then I came to India for the three years, last three years I've been in India and what I noticed is that we are doing a lot of stenting procedures, coronary stenting procedures in India but pacemakers are not being done as much as they are needed and that is mainly because pacemakers are not very well understood by the common public the need for a pacemaker and what a pacemaker is is something that people have very little idea about and I thought it will be a good thing to try and give a brief introduction into what a pacemaker is. A human heart is um, it's like a car uh, engine, it needs fuel which it gets from the blood flow through the arteries called coronary arteries. When these arteries block off, people get heart attack, which is where the stents come in. The next component of the human heart is the pumping itself, which is the muscle of the heart. If that becomes weak, that's called cardiomyopathy, treated with simple tablets. And also if the tablets don't work, you need certain particular devices. For the heart to keep beating, it needs electricity. It makes its own electricity inside the, the components, inside the compartments of the heart. So for example, if you see this as the heart, and then if I'm going to, I'm going to open this surface, what you see these little red lines there, these arteries, these are the arteries which supply energy to the heart and if there's any block there people get heart attack that is what you think about blockage in the artery and stenting that's not what we are talking about today what we are talking about today is the electrics of the heart which is which starts somewhere there goes to the junction and goes below if there is any block in the electricity inside the heart then the heart becomes very slow and sometimes may even stop that is when a pacemaker is done. A pacemaker is an electrical, electronic device which rewires the heart and re-establishes the electrical connection in the heart. For example, if you see that as the heart, in the heart there, this is the machine and there are two wires, one on the top and one on the bottom. These wires will tell this machine, electronic machine, that the heart is not beating properly and this will take control and then make the heart beat properly. That is what a pacemaker is. Therefore, a pacemaker is often a life-saving device and therefore it's very important that one understands and, and accepts the need for a pacemaker. In terms of who will benefit from it, people who have slow heartbeat and symptoms from the slow heartbeat. And the common symptom from a slow heartbeat is where people have dizziness, lightheadedness, and loss of consciousness if they fall over, if they hurt themselves. And as you can understand, these symptoms are very common in the elderly. The older a person is, the less efficient the electrical wiring of the heart is, and there is a greater chance for the heartbeats to miss as a result, the heart may transiently stop and they may collapse, fall down to the ground. And therefore, it is very important to identify these symptoms. And once these symptoms are identified as due to slow heartbeat, implanting a pacemaker will ensure that the person will not have these symptoms and therefore there will be less risk for their life as well and it is a life-saving device. There are modern pacemakers which have come into the market. The standard pacemaker looks like this. I'm going to show you a little example of a pacemaker. So this is a pacemaker. This is a pacemaker device. This is an electronic device that is implanted into the patient. It goes into the chest there and into those ports there we put a wire and that wire goes into the heart as I showed you earlier. So this is that device, this is the wire, wire is connected to the device, the wire goes into the heart, it's screwed in the heart, 
and then that is a pacemaker. This is the modern pacemaker called Micra. This goes into the heart and we just drop it in the heart and all the work of this big pacemaker is done by this device called Micra or a micro leadless pacemaker and this is how it looks that leadless micro pacemaker inside the heart and this is also available in India and I have done a few since coming to India and this is a new modern type of pacemaker where you can put it inside the heart a bit more expensive than the standard pacemaker but very very efficient pacemakers are extremely efficient and a very intelligent device system a lot of people have very wrong notions about pacemaker thinking when they have a pacemaker they can't use a mobile phone they can't stand near a microwave etc which is untrue modern day pacemakers are extremely efficient and they are also very robust not a lot of things interfere unless you're a rock musician or you're doing drilling in the road where you're using very high power vibration tools or very high frequency uh, noise or high frequency radio frequency waves other than that the pacemakers will almost never fail they last for more than 10 years they are robust and they are very very useful when used in the right context if you have any doubts any questions anything you want to know about pacemakers feel free to drop a line we will get back to you and we will advise you and guide you as to what would be the best course forward if anybody has told you that you might need a pacemaker i hope this video was very useful and if there's any questions any doubts please feel free to ask us thank you